All right, this is the boiler that heats our shop. We just put this boiler in in February 2011. It's a brand new Badaris G115 WS5 boiler. Uh, this has got the A&E Series 2 waste oil burner. Uh, up here is our switches. We, the first one's for the burner. The second one is our circulator pump. And the third one shuts down the oil pump. Up on the back, we've got an aquastat for the circulator pump. Uh, so when the boiler comes up to temperature, it automatically turns it on. And when we shut down the boiler and the water temperature drops, it will actually automatically shut down our circulator. So all we have to do to shut the boiler down is turn off the burner and everything else will shut down with it. Uh, circulator is down behind here. Uh, it's kind of out of the way. These two valves right here are the supply and return for the nozzle preheater on the burner. Uh, the Series 2 burner, instead of using electricity, we use the water produced by the boiler itself to preheat our oil. We just redesigned this nozzle block, uh, made some changes to it, uh, more heating surface on the oil and air passages, and we drilled the manifold actually right into the side of the block. Uh, this burner has an onboard air compressor. We designed this compressor. It supplies the compressed air for the burner and is driven by the burner motor, so we don't have to run any external compressors or anything like that. Uh, the whole burner is pretty much self-contained. Uh, you can see the preheater underneath the tr ignition transformer. All four lines screw directly into the side of the block, and that makes a nice clean setup. We don't have no wires or electric preheaters or anything in this block. Uh, so this burner, since we're not using any power for a compressor or uh, preheaters, uh, it's actually a little bit more efficient with electricity. Uh, we supply the oil via gravity feed and right here is the oil pump. It picks up the oil from the tank draws it through a filter and then circulates it through this constant level device and the excess oil just overflows back into the tank. Uh, it's a pretty simple setup. It's probably about as simple as you can get with this type of burner. Um, it's lower maintenance. Uh, you don't have the problems with the buildup in the nozzle block like you do with uh, electrically heated nozzle blocks. And that's the A&E Series 2 burner.